Welcome yep. back to Nuka Mac. I've got my sledgehammer. I know this thing is dead, but I just got let loose. So I pull out my Zoom that I canonically have, <laughs> and I start playing just... out loud. I don't have no headphones, so just playing it right out loud. I play my pump-up jam, and I raise my hammer, <laughs> and I'm just about to go ham on this thing, wrecking what's left of it, and... Uh, you hear in the background my favorite Hoobastank song, and it, it starts going, I'm not a perfect person. And I just let loose, and I'm just ripping this thing up with a big old hammer. So with a sledgehammer, you turn the body of pestilence into the world's grossest pinata. Uh, and the reason is you. Man, I flashed back to when my character like really liked Vivaldi and stuff. How far we've come in a year. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one week. <laughs> Changed a lot. What is Hoobastank but the modern Vivaldi? And his arm drops and a gentle breeze starts carrying away his ashes. Yeah, I mean, Darby didn't really affect me in that way, but... It's sad to see John go. I was really, I really felt connected to him. <laughs> well, what is the the occasion of this visit? So, uh, Elizabeth, funny story. So much is. I feel like we, like we were probably here like earlier today, but a uh, lot's happened. Darby's dead. Lizzie Poo developments. Darby's dead, but he killed one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. And that's also what we're kind of dealing with. So um, the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Uh, yeah, one of them is Swamp Thing. So I assume the others will have some kind of detective comics connection as well. Is this a professional wrestling reference? No. The four horsemen. No, no uh, uh no, the Catholic Church is involved. She walks out and she she looks into the trunk and she says, Did someone empty a septic tank into this nice car's trunk? I don't understand what I'm looking at. And you believe that th this creature is the biblical horseman known as Pestilence? Like... <clears throat> 60% certain. That's what, like, the the Pope, I think, told us? I don't know, but we kick its ass! <laughs> like the Indiana Pope? Does this by any means progress the prior study you have done of this miraculous, mysterious, magical object? Well, do you want the short version or the long version of my conclusions? Which one is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> and she produces a small bell from her pocket and and she rings it. She puts it back in her pocket and you hear just like thunderous footsteps coming from somewhere else in the house and the tall revenant comes out. Yes, <laughs> how may I help you, ma'am? <laughs> the two of them emerge carrying a... Uh, a we're gonna call it like a like a very large dog cage that contains uh, a very irate looking gentleman whom uh Steve is now invited to start portraying. This is outrageous. Let me out of this cage. As oh, soon this as is, I oh, see ridiculous. this cage, I, I hear it kind of clutter the ground and I look over and I stop mid-sentence my eyes open wide I say my god he's perfect <laughs> do the experiment do it now fascinating what? specimen what in the devil are you talking about uh, Who? hey can we time what? out what? real quick can we time out real quick Andy did you say specimen with a T on the end fascinating specimen Fascinating specimen. Yeah, it's like a minty specimen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is beyond a, a doubt the strangest group of people I've 
ever seen in my life. What on earth is this collection? What is your name? Yeah, my name is Thurgood Dunstan. Thurgood? Like Thurgood Marshall? Yes. Thurgood Dunstan? Thurgood Dunstan. And he's checking in. That name is Thurgood Great. (laughs) Typically, I would take time to to check the references, but it it is so nice to me. You've got the job, Thurgood Darby. No, it... Dun- Dunstan, Thurgood Dunstan. Thurgood and I assure you, my Dunstan, credentials yeah. are in immaculate order. Uh, she's holding the vial of Darby's heart's blood. She says, okay, well, um, well, we need to get all the blood out of him, so let's, what, let's all what? chip in. What? No, Ag- no, no, no. Augustine, Please, you were no. thirsty, weren't you? And start start panicking. I, Just she, uh, no. she, she latches on to, to Thurgood uh, right uh, away. That was Batman. Mm. No, we did not I'm say that name sorry. here. Uh, well, that's his name. Was that's what? Tall, I don't know. Some type of man bat hybrid? Okay, please. No, I've I've never heard of it. What? Just okay. I'm, I'm not. I'm not the second familiar. person we've met. There's a there's a country. <laughs> there's a city. <laughs> there's in a city in Turkey. A city in Turkey. Of course, I've heard of. You must now drink a moderate amount of of this this person's blood, not enough to cause them great harm. Yeah, you you don't want to make this person die. There are complications. Oh, so. I just I just wet my beak as if I were the vampire finch of the Galapagos. <laughs> Indubitably, you speak very similar vernacular to myself, comrade. Where are you from? I'm not sure that's accurate. Conference. Hang on, have you been do- doing David Attenborough this whole time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> Plant, plants, animals. Oh, God damn it. Is that David Attenborough in your background? <laughs> yeah. This whole time? He's quite old. <laughs> I thought the outfit would have given it away right away. The khakis and the blue shirt, like that, is just classic. He's wearing like every frame. And the vast majority, of course, die there. But just a few, a long time ago, were fortunate enough to be swept by currents out to the ocean. So uh, Elizabeth yes. sort of gently places a, a hand on your shoulder and then another one on this random hypnotized dude's shoulder and starts to just kind of gently guide you oh, two no, together. I, I, no, I, I, I couldn't possibly. Just I, get, I, doesn't it feel so natural? This is the best. No, certain, certainly not. Certainly not. No, I don't, it feels I don't awkward, think that I would want to do something. Well, no, this is I get into don't. It. To, to see if you frenzy or not. You're going to have to roll uh, self-control, which I think is two dice for you. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a botch. Thurgood Darby. Dunstan. Uh, immediately going feral. Dunstan. And gra- grabbing onto this guy and digging in even harder. Like, do we have him secured at this point? You, I'm going to say you're holding on to him pretty effectively, but I would also like to know what a frenzying Thurgood looks like. Oh, man, it is just extremely upsetting. Uh, just like <laughs> this egg-shaped old guy just losing <laughs> his mind. Just, um, I'm imagining just like a captive animal. Just, <laughs> just gnashing of teeth. Mm-hmm. And um, pausing every so one every once in a while, just to be like, "Oh, oh no!" And then you just like ramping right back up again into the into the frenzy. <laughs> uh, if there is one visible, I grab a ladle. If there is not one visible, I manically rummage for a ladle. No, there's I a ladle. Shovel. All right, cool. I grab I a ladle and we head to the. There's car. also one of those things that you use to like get a pizza out of an oven. <laughs> 
<laughs> a pizza or whatever <laughs> they call this. Paddle, yeah. My parents own a pizza place, and the correct term is pizza or. Can't you see I'm ladling pestilence here? <laughs> and, and I take what I have of the ladle, and I kind of slap it into the wheelbarrow, and I indignantly hand it over to Archibald, just... You be lunch lady today. And I take I, it. I was say that. Lunch lady. I lad. take it. I look at it. Do you think that this four horsemen threat is a real and serious thing? The actual four horsemen of the apocalypse. How do it were to manifest is, as observed, a non zero amount of data suggesting favorability for this thesis so yes um, so you do believe approximately this? A, a, approximately yes we would inundate you with instruction and memorization and it will be difficult have you ever seen a clockwork orange <laughs> oh. well that, that's neither here nor there <laughs> that is not a, that is not an application of produce that I am myself familiar with. <laughs> is that a, is that oh a spell God. in the green path? Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> this is a funny episode, guys. Augustine's really on it tonight. Our immediate needs are certainly intertwined. However, this is the end of an What's a fancy word for chapter? Act? Era? <laughs> End of an act! <laughs> this is the, beginning the curtain of a new falls act. upon this of potentially four acts. And I do believe <laughs> I am required to investigate further before <laughs> resigning myself to the luxury of enhancing my already magnanimous knowledge! Did you say four acts? Oh, it's four horsemen. Yeah, keep up, man. And what we did was we were able to transform all four hippos into uh, into metal, uh, essentially a state of uh, suspended animation. If you've been inside Club Wonderland, you may have noticed four life-sized hippo statues. If we listened back to like the first episode, would we then uh, be oh, encountered yeah. by some hi big hippos in there? The hippos were mentioned, yes. Oh, man. But also you see some out-of-place decorations, like several life-size metal sculptures of hippos in various poses, and a metal sculpture of a shirtless Steve Buscemi that someone has wrapped a towel around the waist of. Man, it all connects back. This show is so planned out.